Hey everyone, Jeff Roberts here at the Salado Wildlife Education Center. I want to talk with you a little bit about how some species of birds deal with cold weather and deal with the winter time. Have you ever noticed that you see different birds at different times of the year? For example, you might see and hear a lot of brightly colorful songbirds in the spring and in the summer and then not see them at all in the fall or the winter. And in the winter, you might have birds that show up in your backyard or at your bird feeders that you don't remember seeing at all during the spring or the summer. Well, this is because a lot of birds migrate. And when they migrate, they change locations at different times of the year for different reasons. But the two most common reasons that birds need to migrate is to have better and longer access to food resources, especially in the winter time, and to have access to food resources and nesting sites, so places to nest, lay eggs, and raise their young, especially during the spring and the summer. Now, migration can be kind of a tricky topic, and asking whether a specific bird migrates or not doesn't always have an easy yes or no question. A lot of times, it depends on what that bird eats and where they are found specifically within the United States or where they're found on the continent of North America. An easy way to think about migration is to break it into three different types, short distance, medium distance, and long distance migration. Let's start with short distance. Short distance migration is where birds gather together in flocks and they change their locations, uh, but they don't travel a great distance in order to do so. A great example of a bird that does short distance migration that I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with is the American robin. You probably have seen a lot of robins in and around your yard in the spring and in the summertime, but you may not notice them in the wintertime. Chances are they haven't gone very far, but they use short distance migration to gather up in flocks and they're going to spend their time where food resources are most plentiful. And then in the spring, they'll spread back out and return to those areas where they nest every year, like your backyard. Now, medium distance migration, these birds travel a little bit further, and if we were looking at a map, we might say that birds that use medium distance migration are traveling a distance of a few states or more. A good example of a bird that uses medium distance migration is the bald eagle. Now in Kentucky, we need to point out that in Kentucky, we have a population of bald eagles that spend their entire year in the state. They're here the whole time. They don't migrate because they don't actually need to. But northern bald eagles, specifically bald eagles from the Great Lakes region, this part of the country right here, well, they actually migrate south for the winter, but they don't go all the way to Florida because they don't need to. They come only as far south as they need to and end up in places like Kentucky. Now, we said that birds migrate to have better access to food resources. Well, we have to understand what bald eagles eat. Because bald eagles mostly eat fish, they need to have access to open water year round. And typically, the winters are harsher and colder the further north you go. So water is much less likely to freeze over in Kentucky, and that's why we have so many bald eagles in Kentucky during the wintertime. Now, the most impressive migration of all is long-distance migration. And a lot of those small, brightly colored, pretty songbirds that we mentioned, they use long-distance migration each year and travel impressive journeys, some of which are over a thousand miles, if you can believe that. Now, you might be wondering, how does a little bitty songbird, like this magnolia warbler, how are they able to travel such long distances? How's a little bitty bird able to do that? Well, the secret to being able to fly to begin with uh, is, is being lightweight. So it might actually be surprising to learn that birds like this can come close to doubling their body weight. They spend their fall eating pretty much nonstop. They spend their whole day eating and putting on weight, putting on fat stores that they use as their energy during migration. Now, it's important that we have habitat in place that birds like these warblers are utilizing as stopover sites where they can refuel. Now think of it this way. When you travel with your family, at some point you're probably going to stop at a gas station. You're gonna put fuel back in your car. You might even go inside and get yourself a snack or something to drink. Well, think about birds that are migrating. They use habitat the same way. They use stopover sites in order to rest up and to continue to eat so that they have the fuel that they need to, to complete that journey. And it might amaze you even more to learn that some small warblers travel from Canada all the way to the Caribbean on a three-day non-stop flight. They actually travel over open water 
where they're unable to even stop. So that's why it's so important that they feed up and get uh, such a huge body size uh, for the, with the fat stores so that they're able to complete that long journey. There are other birds that don't migrate at all. And this is a great example that I'm sure you're all familiar with. The Northern Cardinal. Cardinals have access to everything they need throughout the year. And you've probably noticed that it really doesn't matter what time of year it is in Kentucky. You can always spot a Cardinal. So what I would encourage you to do is to pay attention to what birds that you see. Note the time of year that it is and consider getting yourself a field guide. This will help you identify those birds. And within the field guide, something very important that we've already taken a look at, you can find range maps. And these are going to give you a much better idea of what a bird is doing at what time of year, how it spends its year, and how it migrates, what kind of migration it uses, short, medium, or long distance migration. So pay attention, happy birding, and thanks for watching.